There is this one television that is so entertaining. It is so inspiring and so educative. It is God's own television, TV station that changes sinners, TV station for the oppressed. TV station for the hopeless. Star Cross TV, inspiring station. Watch Star Cross TV, enlightening station. Watch Star Cross TV, empowering station. God's own station, station, uniting the world. There is this one television that is so entertaining. It is so inspiring. And so educative. It is God's own television. TV station that changes sinners. TV station for the oppressed. TV station for the hopeless. Star Cross TV. Inspiring station. Watch Star Cross TV, enlightening station. Watch Star Cross TV, empowering station. God's own station, station, uniting the world. There is this one television that is so entertaining. It is so inspiring and so educative. It is God's own television, TV station that.
This one television that is so entertaining, it is so inspiring and so educative. It is God's own television, TV station that changes sinners, TV station for the oppressed. TV station for the hopeless. Star Cross TV, inspiring station. Watch Star Cross TV and Lightning Station. Watch Star Cross TV, empowering station. Sun station, station, uniting the world. There is this one television. Good morning, beloved viewer, and welcome to the Morning Star Breakfast Show. 
A program that marks the December Pentecostal Assembly. I am Udua Kapadok. With me here is Sister Queen Solomon. Okay. So, beloved viewer, I hope you had a lovely night rest and a happy, beautiful weekend to you. Of course, uh, yesterday, Friday, kick started the December Pentecostal Assembly where we had the Holy Father physically advising and blessing his children and officially declaring the December Pentecostal open so today we'll have different segments for you we have the first segment which will be the interactive session with the general manager of the bcs star press television who will be enlightening us on the various significance of events taking place this december and of course the significance of the december pentecostal also he's going to enlighten us on the role star press television will be playing throughout this event and much more later we'll have interaction with uh, fellowships in this december pentecostal assembly i think it's sister queen what are the fellowships we have today okay for today we have the international leadership representative fellowship mm -hmm. and the all ordained ones fellowship all right so swiftly we're going to move to the interactive session with uh, the general manager of the bcs star Chris television you know him already but for the purpose of this program we're just going to introduce his name he is the patriarch christ of that Olga a senior welcome thank you very much okay. how good are you morning. feeling this morning good 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 okay so immediately after this interaction we're going to have uh, the names of our supporters our appreciators for the month of november being read out to you so we're going to say a very big thank you on behalf of the management of star Chris television for constantly supporting gods on tv so swiftly please sister queen before we go on to asking the general manager the significance of december pentecost so please can you read out the event we'll be expecting to have this december okay for this december we will have the music and merit award night mm -hmm. that will also take um, the cross overnight into 2023 yeah. we will have induction of christ ambassadors okay we will have the divine manifestation of our most holy father yeah. the ancient of days mm -hmm. we will have the bcs world charity day celebration the Christmas service that's on the 25th day of December okay. and Sacros Television end of year celebration. Okay, thank you so much for that. Okay, so over to you, uh, the Patriarch Christ of Earth. I believe you witnessed the uh, opening of the Divine Pentecostal yesterday, and uh, there were a few things the Father highlighted in his address yesterday. So, briefly, I would want you to tell us about that, especially the event. The mega event you are expecting to take place in the year 2023 coming on on the april so please briefly tell us about that okay thank you very much um i bring you greetings uh, our lovely and esteemed audience we give thanks to the father for sustaining us into the month of december uh, which will also take us into the new year 2023. Uh, yesterday, our Holy Father equally appreciated all his children and also full of thanks. Uh, he, he will always say, I give thanks to the Father, but we also know that that Father is in him. So we rather thank him for sustaining us through the year up to the up to December, like you said, December Pentecostal, as said by the Father, is very very significant, and a Pentecostal itself uh, could be likened. Let me use a word that maybe a layman will understand. You know, uh, in a conventional setting, we go to school. People go to school, and after a period of lessons, you go into a period of reappraisal, where they say exam, you know, where a student or learners are subjected to evaluation to know how they are doing, you know, to enable them to move to another higher level academically. So also brought out of the cross and star, being the Christ Universal Spiritual School of Practical Christianity, 
and also being the university of God. The Pentecostal uh, season enables the Father to reevaluate, to reassess us spiritually, look at our weaknesses, and also strengthen and reinvigorate us to enable us become stronger for greater tasks ahead. So it is a period where the children of God, after undergoing a spiritual assessment, they also are empowered, fortified, you know, lubricated, you know, for the tax ahead. Then December Pentecostal itself is very, very unique because it is a time where we celebrate the divine manifestation of the Ancient of Days, the founder and sustainer of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, leader Olumba Olumba Ubu, whose birth marked their salvation, whose birth ushered us from an old world into a new world. And also his birth brought into consummation all prophecies, all the prophecies as contained both in the Holy Bible, in the Quran, in the Book of Momo, even in the lost book and forgotten books of the Eden. Everything that is written there, shown to the prophet and patriarchs of all, has fulfilled courtesy of the divine manifestation of leader Olumba Olumba Obu. His manifestation also has fulfilled the prayers and requests of our Lord Jesus Christ when he said, Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was made. That is in John 17. So his manifestation has also fulfilled that prayer. And today we have seen the Father glorifying that same Christ that came to shed his blood for us. Father has glorified him and has given him a name above every other name, as written in Revelation 19. That name is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And today we have seen all these qualities embodied in His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obu. So also in this December Pentecostal, we celebrate or we join the world, all creations of God, to commemorate the uh, birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ in his previous advent, which the world called Christmas Day. Even though the Holy Father has said Christ was not born on Christmas, Father has said so, but since that day has been given to the Christian family and Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the leading organization as far as Christianity is concerned, it is also a wise that we lead all the Christian faith in commemorating this day. And when you come on that day, you will see the way Christ is being celebrated, unlike what is obtainable in most places in the world. So in all ramifications, uh, December Pentecostal is pregnant with mysteries, with blessing and salvation. Okay, thank you very much, sir, for that explanation on the significance of December Pentecost. Now, we will move swiftly into the significance of the different events that will be taking place in this Pentecostal period. Firstly, we would like you to speak on the Music and Merit Award Night. Okay. Uh, uh, yesterday, I also, even though I was not physically in the hall, but as you will know, uh, Star Cross Television, you know, uh, has made us to to be receiving the throne of God even in our bedroom. You know, that is one good thing with Star Cross Television. Anywhere you are, even in your vehicle, wherever you are, you can be connected to the throne of God once the King of Kings and Lord of Lords is there. So I was also I also took advantage of Star Cross Television. I heard the father talked about the 2022 BCS Music and Merit Award, and he said it is his wish to encourage his children, to encourage hard work, dedication, trustworthiness in the kingdom service. So this uh, event is designed 
to enable the father physically encourage his children. That is not to say that the spiritual encouragement is not there. Of course, the Bible says, I have not seen, nor ear hear, neither had it entered the heart of any man those things that the Lord has prepared for those who love him and serve him day and night. But physically, Father also do this. So on that day, you see that people who served in various departments do also be, uh, will be assessed and they will also be encouraged so that others will know that their services is not in vain. You understand? So there will be a award for best department of the year, best female staff, male staff, artists, beautiful composition in evangelism, in tight payment, in, in various ways, in various aspects of the kingdom service, the father will physically recognize and encourage his children. And that will now lead us. That is also the day that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords will now pronounce Happy New Year to all his children. And once he says so, you just need to relax yourself because he will take you from 1st of January 2023 to the 31st of December 2023 in peace, in happiness, and in progress. Okay, so I know you're not directly the organizer for the music, uh, music merit and award night here. I know the General Assembly of the uh, Brotherhood Artists are the organizers, but on a fair knowledge, I would love to ask on what premise are those who merit this award evaluated? Well, they, they will always uh, mention, for example, if it is an award for the best state of the year, they will look at how this state has performed in the aspect of evangelism, rural and corporate evangelism, baptism of a new convert, tight payment, response to uh, projects and levies from the headquarters, and the impact that that state or nation has created. If it is the aspect of fellowship, they will see all the activity given to this fellowship within the year. How effective has this fellowship been? You know, is the fellowship progressing or retrogressing? Within the department here at the headquarters, they look at dedication. In various departments, there are some staff that are very committed, trustworthy. They do everything with complete loyalty and faith in the Father. They are also being assessed. And in department, they also look at how the department has been well coordinated, the working cooperation between management and staff, and the impact, the, uh, okay, let me say, progress, achievement it has recorded in terms of, uh, in the aspect of income, management of income is also uh, looked into. And every other thing that will make this department progressive, everything that makes it, uh, uh, that identify this department as a progressive department within that year. These are the, some of the criteria. The one I'll not be able to talk much is the aspect of uh, music, because that is a bit technical and I will accept any day that I am not gifted in the aspect of music. So, but I also know that people handling that aspect, they are also very professional and they do the right thing. Okay. Yes. So I hope Star Crystal Vision Management will invite the organizers so that they can enlighten the public on the event. Okay, so additionally, from what you have said, the uh, premise on which individuals or states or nations, departments have been evaluated to receive this award, would you say Star Crystal Vision will be nominated as the best or one of the best establishment for this year, 2022, to receive that award? What can you say? Has Starcross been able to reach that level that they deserve an award? Well, I would say that uh, in the past, Starcross have been winning this uh, award. And even this year also, looking back to uh, what has been done so far at Starcross Television, I I, I am strongly, I'm optimistic that uh, 
the organizers will consider Starcross among the maybe the first three and the will of the Father will, will, will be done. But if you look back, I would say that this year, at least, at least the management under the visionary leadership and inspiration of our CEO, His Holiness, Olumba Olumba Bu, uh, some level of uh, with uh, recorded significant uh, achievement. And I think a few days from now, we are going to be unveiling uh, one of our very powerful uh, movie, you know, which was shot by the management and an all-inclusive uh, documentary which captured vividly all the achievement and impact of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords from 14th of from 14th of February, I mean 14th of uh, April, 2001, up to this present time. So these are some of the achievement uh, in staff relationship discipline has been restored. At least staff salaries are being paid, you know, on monthly basis. I can see all of you. You are smiling because uh, the management is not owing any staff. There's this teamwork in everything. I can really attest that there's teamwork. New presenters are being trained and. Today, like for example, uh, Queen Solomon that is here, I think a few months ago she was not working here, but today she is one of the presenters, I would say, uh, among the best. So these are some of the achievements. We have others. If you go to the post production units now, you see about four uh, staff undergoing a training, editing training. We have people in the camera unit that are also undergoing training and all that. So, and we can see people nowadays coming with application. If you go to my table, I have a lot of application that want to work for Starcross and all that. That shows that the management, the, the department is growing and is impacting. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so that is that for the Music and Merit Award night. Another event we want you to speak on as regards to the Blue Skin of God is the induction of the newly promoted Christ Ambassadors. Well, I, I, I know you've said that you'll be inviting these, uh, the organizers also, but I also know that uh, the induction is a process that uh, enables uh, these brethren that it has pleased the Father to promote into the Universal Council of Christ ambassadors to come out, to come out and to be uh, given basic orientation and also is a, a ceremony that makes them to know that they have been taken from one level to another and certain requirement is expected of them in the new uh, a, a council they belong and this expectation will be spelled out to them and the father will also come and bless them and make pronouncement because it is that father's pronouncement and blessing that will sustain anybody no matter who you are no matter your level of orientation and training and a qualification in the world once you come to brother out of the cross and star it is a different ball game altogether because all those qualifications does not count. The only thing that counts is the father's blessing, the father's pronouncement, his guidance and all that. So these persons will have that induction as a platform where they receive this father's blessing to enable them to continue. Otherwise, they will stumble and fall, which is not the father's wish. Okay, so we are aware that the BCS World Charity Day was supposed to take place on the first day of December, but because our Father is the most intelligent being, he shifted it to another date. So, so I would like to know how prepared members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star are for this day and the significance of the BCS World Charity Day. Well, the preparation uh, I know Father did give, made this mandate on the 
the, during the, the break. breaking of a three-day dry fasting. Uh, and once the father speak, every of his child, unless you do not have the, the spirit of God in you, and when you hear his holiness speak, then you want to harden your mind. Because they say light attracts light. The father is the supreme light. Once he speak, he will kindle all his children of light, and everybody will be in that spirit. The charity, uh, BCS World Charity Day, uh, it is uh, designed and is observed to sustain the humanitarian legacy of leader Olumba Olumba Ubu and his Christ, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Ubu. If you go back to the, uh, to the works of the Father, from birth up to this moment is humanitarian work. His activity is everything. We are sitting here today because of his humanitarian nature. All the people he employed in all the departments, all over, all the thousands of people he has employed, he, he, if you check properly, he, he does that based on his humanitarian nature. So, because of that, it is important that at a time like this where the whole world celebrates his divine manifestation, we reflect on that uniqueness of his character, of his nature. So that day, the Father expects every child of this kingdom that truly appreciates the humanitarian gesture of a father towards him or her to also extend same. Say, I have loved you. I have shown you this. I expect you to do the same to others. To go out there and touch the life of somebody, put a smile on somebody's face. That is what the Father expects. And in doing so, you also tell the people, I am doing this for you because this is what my Father, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, has done for me. So that is the concept behind that exercise. Okay, thank you very much, sir. So we are aware that the 25th December service is held to commemorate the birth of Christ in his past advent. Now I want you to throw more light on this event. Let us know what the children of God are expecting come 25th December. Well, normally the Father comes, conduct divine service, and also deliver his ex message Sometimes it might please the father to celebrate a feast, a world feast, but like yesterday you heard, the father will be celebrating a world feast tomorrow. Meaning, why people are even waiting to start celebrating on the 25th? Our all-knowing father has even will be starting his own tomorrow. Like he said, he's always ahead of the world. He's always ahead. So that day, the father also encouraged people to forgive one another, to live in love and peace, and to celebrate Exmos in spiritual, in the spiritual perspective, rather than what you see in the street. You see people dressed in black, they call them in Africa here, Calabar, they call them Tinkoriko, they uh, uh, place a charcoal all over their body, bodies and start going about harassing people, collecting money with all kinds of phony marks and all that. And somebody, some time ago, we were told that with those people you see, they call themselves masquerade. Those masquerade you see, that the people doing that, they are reminiscing on what King Herod did. You know, when, King, when Christ was born, King Herod had sent his angry soldiers to go after the the baby Jesus, when he was told by the three wise men that the king is, was born. So King Herod wanted to kill that child. So these people you see masquerading about with uh, all kinds of uh, ugly and funny dressing, they are now reflecting on that nature. They are reminding us. In fact, they are upholding that practice by King Herod. So we do not need all that. Every child of God is expected to dress and go for service and thank God for bringing into the world his son, 
2,000 years ago to come and die for the remission of our sin. And we in brotherhood, we, only, we do not only commemorate that day, we commemorate and celebrate that day because that same Christ is back in the world. So while we thank the Father for his previous manifestation, we also rejoice in his present manifestation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. So we also learned that the management and staff of Star Cross Television will be organizing an end of year celebration this same December. Is that true, sir? Yes, you are correct. Okay, sir. Okay, so <laughs> what are we expecting? Uh, yes, uh, we, we Star Cross Television management consider it necessary to hold what we call an uh, end of year. Uh, celebration and we are not just going to celebrate here in the department it is our wish we uh, that if we please the father we go and thank him because he is the one that have inspired everything that you see here physically and spiritually he is the one sustaining this place so we consider it necessary to go as management to thank him and also if we are, uh, we also present our Xmas package to the Father, and also present our annual reports and areas of achievement and all that. And we'll be inviting all our resource persons, those that have been featuring on our various uh, programs. Unfortunately, some are in USA, some are in Ghana. If they cannot come, we also uh, provide Zoom. They will be with us on Zoom. So all their resource persons on Morningstar, Forerunner, Regnum, Prayer Line, you know, you name them, we will all invite them. And if it please the Father, we also appreciate them. We will thank them because some of them, for example, the, the team of, uh, there's a man that future on uh, Regnum, one of the barristers. He lives in Uyo. He travels from Uyo. Twice every month, he comes in, he will pay his accommodation, we don't and uh, feed himself, or just to come and appear on that show, you know, just to make sure that that program is ongoing. And we consider as a people like that, we invite them to, before the presence of the Father, and we say thank you, and the Father will also bless them. So that is what we are looking at and once the date has been uh, confirmed we will let everybody know and we will invite them okay yes. all right so we're saying this presentation is an open invitation to all the resource guests yes just your resource guests you're not extending the invite to members supporters of the tv uh, well you see our supporters are countless we are, we are, like what you are going to be doing by reading out their names and all that. If we invite all our supporters, it is going to be a mini mega event because I know they will be coming. They, when they come, they feel all this place. No, our, our audience is very big and supporters. But like I said, in this one, we will limit it to our resource persons for now. And maybe when we are celebrating our 10th anniversary next year, then we will now also invite all our supporters all over the world. Okay. So that is, that is it. All right. Thank you so much for coming to grace this morning Star Breakfast Show. And of course, sharing with us the significance of the various events for the December Pentecost and the significance of the December Pentecost. All right. So before we let you go briefly, I would love you to enlighten us on the role Star Cross Television will be playing during these wonderful events, during these wonderful activities. Yes, we have never relented and rendering uh, services we will continue to stream all our program our programs live i want to thank our ceo for improving our facility here at star cross and if you can see nowadays uh, online streaming has been very stable unless 
when issue of a network which is not within our uh, control, you know, we are still depending on some uh, service uh, right. uh, providers, you know. Otherwise, every other aspect is, is uh, the father has really, really encouraged this uh, department. We have sophisticated equipment. We have, uh, you know, uh, cameras that can do some of these things. And recently, we're having issue with a wireless transmitter. This wireless transmitter uh, is what we just mount on a camera and it transmits from wherever the camera is to the, you know, uh, distributing a, a, a unit. Because what you see us doing the whole for some time is, you see we attach a cable to a camera and sometimes that cable is not long enough to the point where it is happening. For example, when the father consecrated the Christ Shepherd, you see that the camera stopped somewhere, you know, and the camera could not go round to pick some significant uh, action because of the cable. But recently, a brother, even though that brother says it should not be mentioned, but we do not hide good things. When somebody does something good, uh, Brother Christ Shepherd Spencer Uyibo came to Calabar and being an ICT personnel, he observed these challenges and I think one of our camera operators mentioned to him and as I speak, he has been able to donate one, one of the wireless transmitter, meaning that even when we'll be doing procession in the street, we will, you, we will no longer attach our camera to the bus. You know, sometimes you're mounting a camera on top of a bus and the noise of the generator will also be affecting, sometimes uh, affecting the noise of the presenter and the program. But with this wireless transmitter, the camera can be as far as one kilometer and our transmitting equipment will be somewhere and we will pick the feet. So he has done that. Uh, we wish to have that about three of it, but the one he has done, we thank the Father, we pray the Father to bless him and also connect him to the divine source of blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we assure all our audience, wherever you are in the world, Star Cross Television will bring to you the pronouncement, the activity, everything that is happening here at the World Headquarters. We will bring it to your bedroom, we will bring it to your vehicle, we will bring it to wherever you are. All you owe the Father is continue to support Star Cross Television. All right, thank you so much, beloved viewer. You've heard from the general manager of the BCS Star Cross Television. So please, wherever you are, if you're unable to make it here to the headquarters to join some of the major events, do not be bothered, do not be worried. Star Cross Television will be streaming live all event, the Holy Father's advice and blessings. So with this, we're going to take a short break and when we return, we're going to take the very first fellowship for today, which is the All Ordained Ones Fellowship. So please do not go anywhere. We'll be right back shortly. Behold the ancient of days. Blessed is he that cometh from Eden. Holy is thy name. I kept looking until his thrones were set up, and the ancient of days took his seat. Yes. His was like one. Yes. Of his head was, was like pure. His throne was ablaze with flames. His wings were upon in fire. Daniel saw this in the night vision. John prophesied of his coming. Since 1918, the ancient of days arrived to the earth, doing wonders everywhere, setting the captives free, turning sinners to godly nature. The ancient of days, I am. Glory, 
ancient force. Ancient of days, welcome to your world. Your coming has brought salvation to man. Ah, all nations, all the creatures must bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and on earth shall declare your glory. Marvelous is thy name. Every knee must bow. At your throne in worship of thy holy name, O Lord. You shall be exalted above all other names. You are worthy to be praised. You shall be called counselor, marvelous, powerful, everlasting father. There is no one like you. The ancient of days. Give him glory. Give him all glory. Give honor and majesty. Power be unto the ancient of days. Before the mountains were born, he gave birth to the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, he remains God forever. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He deserves all and all, let your glory and adoration be ascribed to him alone. He hold the ancient of days. The ancient of days, I am that I glory, am. The one and only living God, the beginning and the end. Be unto the ancient of days. The ruler of all creatures, the greatest nation, the supreme deity. Welcome to your world. Be unto the ancient force. Welcome to the Lord Father. I have silver and gold to offer unto the event to sing this melodious song to me, Father. I am Abby the musical king. I say welcome to your world. Welcome to your world. Thank you, Father. BBCS music. Hold me firm, draw me 
International All Ordained Ones Fellowship, and they are here with us in the studio. You're all welcome once again. Thank, Thank you for having me. So, sitting very close to me is the International President of the All Ordained Ones Fellowship, is Grace Archbishop Onyekwere Ojon. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome, viewers. Okay, and also sitting very close to him is the International Secretary of the Fellowship, Christ Ambassador Enobon Kerebon. Thank you for having me here. Stay tuned. All right. So joining us uh, via Zoom is going to be the co-chairman of evangelism and the person of Christ Ambassador, Becky Umorosu. We are expecting to have her there join us on Zoom. So uh, briefly, before we get into uh, the interaction proper for the day, I would want you in few words to appreciate the Father for seeing you throughout the January Pentecostal and down to this December Pentecostal, which is the last quarter of Pentecost for the year 2022. So in few words, please appreciate the Father. 
In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. Well, first of all, I have to thank the Father immensely because um, it's not easy. Because whenever you enter a new year, you have a plan, you have a proposal of what you intend to achieve. But this is your own program. But what is the program of God? Our Father has been with us from January to now, more especially the old day was because when we are coming into, coming into this um, 2022, we have a program, we have a plan of what we tend to achieve, but the challenges are so enormous. When we look at it, it looks as if it's something that is going to be very difficult. But I must confess to you, where we have our turnaround is just towards the last quarter of the year a very tremendous change came up and something we thought that would be very difficult we just see the thing coming just in a glance so we have to appreciate him because he knew the end from the beginning so he has been with all of them once and uh, it's a thing of joy because we have achieved so much this year going by our induction going by our project going by our evangelism including our welfare in various states both the within Nigeria and also in diaspora. So much has happened. Just like our surplus project, sooner or later, <laughs> everybody will celebrate it because we are the verge of entering into painting. So we don't want to build a better, we don't have want to have a growth, we want to have a growth that is aided by ethics so that our Father's name will be glorified and the children of God will receive their blessings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. And already while speaking, you've been able to list out uh, some of your achievements. achievements. Yes. So, but in detail, let us just take the achievements one after another. Well, um, really, number one, coming to this 20, 2022, towards end of um, last year, we were having in mind that we are going to come up by concluding our project in Sapele. So already we are building a battle. We have a, um, a downstairs apartment for the workers. Uh, uh, for the workers, but later on when we look at it, we notice that going throughout Sapele, there was no battle for the father. And Sapele is a very large place, and the distance from Bori to Sapele is so much. So building only a better is not enough. But we need to have other facilities that can make it, whenever you come in as a brotherhood, you'll be comfortable. So we converted the workers' apartment to upstairs. And um, we also decided to create um, a place that we can have a sewing apartment and also have a, a place for a caretaker who will be taking care of the premises. So since we notice that when the worker is not around, the whole place is locked down. So when we look at the facility there, we notice that we don't have enough facility when people come, like um, convenient toilet and bathroom. We decide to construct another four toilet and four bedroom outside the one that has been existing. So now in Sapele, in those constructions, we added so much and when we came into that structure there was no fence it means that people are pedestrian movement are so much in the better so the safety of the person living there we cannot guarantee it so now we have fenced it around very solid with a rolling gate we have finished the construction of the upstairs roof it finished the plastering the construction of that apartment we have roof it finish the plastering, do the tiling, the toilet, we have fixed the doors, fixed the plumbing, everything, the almaco, we have fixed the fittings. Oh, we are not, the battle is as good as concluded already. So, but now, everything concerning Sapele with those challenges, the father have passed through because that's why I say that our growth must go with ethics, looking at those things that are very, very important that needed to be, not just to say, we are building a better, let's just go and hand over. Yeah. But today, if you come to Sapele, the members can be comfortable 
with a place if like the vip as the father have made it we have petrets we have uh, his grace eminences we have a vip for such class because if you go to supply now you can boast of having about um uh, four toilet and bathroom for members you have a vip downstairs two toilets two bathroom we also have two toilet and two bathroom upstairs so these are the things so that whenever you come to Sapele, you can be comfortable so coming to that aspect is not easy because when you think about roofing a house you know what it costs and we have done the roofing of both the the better was leaking because the former roof they did there was um, of substandard so now we decide to go and make sure that we use 0 0.45 gauge so that the quality will be okay. So all the gauge we use in roofing that place is 0 0.45. And we went to the factory to make sure we get the best. So as for the supply structure, it's just, we are now waiting for the, maybe the day we'll call the states and hand over before coming to the father. The aspect of um, the evangelism, the, our sister, Sister Becky, because we made evangelism to be compulsory that every quarter, so that we can touch the grassroots. We noticed that when we call evangelism, we say we are calling for a national evangelism, we spend so much cost and achieve very little, because our concentration will be in a particular place. So it is better we groom our people to know. It's not when an ordain is going for an evangelism, it's looking for somebody who will preach in the field yeah. and you call yourself an ordain. So because of that, we decided to tour the states within Nigeria, which we visited, um, we visited Lagos, we visited Apaibom, we visited Rivers, we visited Bayasa, and we again, and also Cross River, Cross River including yes. Abuja. So when we come in there, we have to meet the state administrator to know the relationship between the Odin One Fellowship in the states. If they are also cooperating with the states and also doing their responsibility in making sure that the growth of the father's work in the state is being accomplished. So after that, we have to conduct a Bible class because you can't give what you don't have. Let them know the importance of being an Odin is we have to equip ourselves with the spiritual aspect of it. So that anywhere you go, we will be bold enough to defend your faith as an Odin one. Because people are expecting much from you. And we also have to do some visitations. And in doing that, we even when we went to North, we met one, um, uh, is it a who of uh, Dambuki? One uh, at uh, Gariki, Abuja. Sariki. Sariki. So when we met the man, the man was so excited receiving us. After giving him the gospel of the Father, he now said to us, his other denominations are they part of this gospel? That we need to do more. So you see that when the Father said that the few describe, but the laborers are very, very few. few. But the then once we try to do that by visiting all those areas and to make sure that um, the children of God are well embraced with the expectation of the Father, which the Father said that our core mandate is what? Evangelism. Is evangelism. Because in brotherhood, Father answers our prayers, but the problem is that we refuse to obey his instructions. Because when you look into the scripture, you notice that somebody like Abraham will never notice the greatness in him without obeying God by leaving his comfort zone to take a long journey to another distance land. The same thing with Moses. If Moses did not accept to obey God, he would never knew that something great is what is in him. So whenever Father said we should go, that lies our greatness. And that is one thing as a brotherhood we must learn how to listen and obey the instructions of the father so in the aspect of welfare so much has been done because we rooted it down like the uk even during the time of uh, queen elizabeth the Oden ones went and also do some uh, welfare and uh, evangelism 
Liberia did the same. In Nigeria here, it is compulsory that every quarter you must participate on the aspect of uh, welfare so that the grassroots will feel it. And I thank the Father for giving us that uh, opportunity of participating uh, in those areas in all of them once and uh, baptisms we are done. Even the last time we came for our week, where they went for evangelism, they had a lot of baptisms. And the then ones are coming up, no matter people are complaining that phone, 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 phone. Actually, it is not easy. But God cannot give you anything and you will do it from the comfort of your home. You must show that faith. You must show that belief. In the midst of those scarcity around you, what is your level of commitment? That is the birth of belief. Because when there is belief, there must be com commitment. And I thank all of them once, and I thank the Father for the strength and the ability he has given to each and every one of us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you very much. Now, mommy, we will be focusing on you. You will tell us about the challenges the International Ordained Ones Fellowship has faced this period and how the Father has helped you all to overcome these challenges. Thank you for the question. We thank the Father so much. We, our major challenge actually has been a depreciating of the numbers of Ordained Ones because, you know, when states come to visit the father out of father's blessings, father promotes them, the pew is now left vacant, and uh, some Odin ones that were left there, the, their spirit became low. So during the anniversary, what we did was to have lectures from reputable personalities like um, the father in his grace, uh, Abdul Maman, gave lecture on the importance of ordination the meaning of the different types of turban. So then ones were like, ah, so I have so much, the father has given me so much power in this turban. They now, f that sense of belonging, that sense of knowing that they are also important in the kingdom also came back and they were able to overcome that, um, we like a little bit inferiority because some of them we say, ah, me and this sister or me and this brother, we were together, we were baptized at the same time, we were there, how come it's not a cast of so I'm still in this view. So all those things now left them. And um, also, in finances, we also try and see how we can also advise them because most Odin ones, they know what to do, but how to go about it. For instance, you may have a particular, maybe a little capital, you want to go into something that can fetch you money, but you don't know what kind of business you can do. So we do one or two counseling and then to at least help them financially. So in the aspect of that finance, we were able to overcome that and overcome their fear of feeling uh, less important in the kingdom. Okay. okay, all right. So th those are all the challenges here? Those are the major challenges. Okay. Mm. So uh, as it concerns uh, the depreciation of uh, members of the All Ordained Ones, are there any plans put in place to have more members coming into the fellowship? Yeah, we really thank the Father so much. During the period, the Father and the International Chairman uh, met with the father and informed the father, Papa, see your children are complaining, Odin was a not many, so the father now uh, ordained some new members into the pew. That's why we had an induction during anniversary. At least by the grace of the father, we had close to a thousand ordained, new Odin ones that were inducted into the pew. Yes. At least that has also increased our numbers mm -hmm. and they are also happy. Okay, we thank the Father for that remarkable um, induction. So, but however, uh, when Father promotes the current uh, members of the fellowships to other, other, pews. other pews and other ranks, are there any... Um, Music. 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 Music.
Zuri Matro Jewel is big in Nadi My heart is filled with supplication There are things I don't like to do But I find myself doing them There are words I don't like to say But I find myself saying them There are places I don't like to go But I find myself in them Hold me firm, draw me close to you. My trust is based on you. Forgetting the deeds of the law, forgetting to follow the ways of God. Now is the time for man to reconcile with his heavenly Father. Oh, we like sheep are gone astray. Every man doing what he wants, forgetting to keep the commandments of God. Do <laughs> Kuisi <laughs> I want to do the things that I want to do. I want to do the things that I want to do. I want to honor and follow you. I want to obey you. So many times in life, I've been warned never to sin. But my flesh is stronger than my spirit. I know sometimes I go astray. I am begging for your forgiveness, Lord. I am begging for your forgiveness, Lord. I have come with a remorse to my father. Please forgive me. My father, I am sorry. Oh. Holy Sado. Daddy, I am sorry. Oh. Holy Sado. Holy Sado. Holy Sado. Holy Sado. Holy Sado. Do not look upon my sins anymore Sometimes I go astray I need you, Lord, to correct my path To lead me, Daddy, to do your will To do your will and only your will I don't want to sin anymore I don't want, I don't want to do those things you don't want, Papa Give me the strength to practice your gospel, Daddy. My father, I am sorry. My father, I am sorry. My father, I am sorry. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry, Lord, for all the things I've done. Please forgive me. I'm your man, that means. Thank you, Father.
Oh, 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 oh,